do one of my favourites, which is a rock the baby. So coming into your tabletop position, I'm going to get you to take a real nice deep inhale in through the nose. And imagine you're drawing the inhale into your belly. So you're trying to blow the belly up like a balloon. And you'll feel a softening um, across your abdominal muscles. So you might feel it. You might feel that your belly's got a lot bigger as you've breathed into it. This time as you draw your exhale out through the nose, I'm going to get you to try and keep that soft, soft belly. So instead of pulling your, your tummy back in, we're just trying to keep that belly nice and soft. And then we're just going to rock our belly side to side. So you can take a wee second just to imagine that baby's just chilling out in their little hammock here of the bump. As you just rock them side to side. So this is lovely on our hips. It's lovely for baby. And it's one of my favourites. You can come right over to the side and hold, feeling the stretch down one side and then the other. Again, we're just moving with the breath, the inhale and the exhale. And with our next inhale, we'll meet back in centre. We're going to come into another um, tabletop position. So pressing out through the base of the fingers, pressing into the top of the feet. We're going to send our right leg back again. Our toes can be up off the mat or down on to the mat, depending on how you're feeling. You can add in your left arm if you wish. So we're going to inhale, we're going to reach out long through the fingertips, out through the right heel. With the exhale, we're going to draw the right knee up to right elbow, left elbow back to your side. Inhale, reach long. Exhale forward. Checking in with your pelvic floor, making sure that we're nice and active. Exhale, right knee to right elbow, left elbow back. Inhale, reach long. Exhale, crunch. Inhale, reaching long. Exhale, right knee to right elbow, left elbow back. Last one. Inhale, reach long. Exhale, knee to elbow, left elbow back. And inhale, back to centre. We're just going to uh, change over this time, lifting our left leg back. And I'll keep my leg on the ground this time, so just to show you, you can do it again with your toes on the mat. So we're going to send the right arm um, forward. So with our exhale, we can just draw that left elbow to the left knee, right elbow back. Inhale, send the toes back. Exhale forward. Inhale, left leg back. Exhale forward. Inhale, legs back, exhale forward, inhale back, two more, exhale forward, inhale back, last one, exhale forward, inhale back, and with your next exhale, just dropping the left knee onto the mat, right hand. So we're going to come into our child's pose, so we're going to draw our two big toes together. We're going to start to send our hips back towards our heels and we're going to spread the knees out as wide as we need to to get bumped down in between. If you have your cushions or your blocks and again let's use as many props as we need to especially in pregnancy and um, so any cushions or blocks you can just place them in under oh, in underneath your chest and that helps support your chest up if you're like me and bump has got very big. Your arms can be reaching out long or they can be tucked down by your sides. So whenever we're in child's pose, I always get you to draw your awareness to your breath in two different ways. So you can either breathe into your belly. If you have any tightness in the lower back, the other option is to breathe into your lower back. So the in with your inhale. Imagine that you're drawing the breath into your lower back, allowing it to rise and inflate. And with your exhale, we're drawing out any tension that we're holding on to. Inhale, exhale. Inhale. 
inhale, exhale. So from here, just removing all of your props to the side. We're gonna draw our hands shoulder width apart onto the mat again, fingers are spread wide. We're gonna draw our hips up off our heels. We're gonna tuck the toes under, keeping our feet um, at hip width apart if we've got any girdle pain. Again, if bumps a little bigger, you might find it more comfortable to send your feet a little bit wider, just to give bump a little bit of space as we move into your down dog. So from here, make sure we're pressing up through the base of the fingers, a little wiggle of the head to make sure that we're holding no tension in the neck. We'll probably have a nice generous bend in the knees, especially if we've got tight hamstrings. And you can start to pedal out the dog every exhale drop on one heel and then the other onto the mat. So from here, we're gonna place the weight into our left foot as we take a bend in the right knee, sending the right leg up behind. You can keep a bend in the right knee or you can reach out long through your toes. With your exhale, you're gonna draw this right knee up towards your chest or you, again, if you have a bump, you might have to send it around and up. Drawing your right foot in between your hands, we're gonna to come to stand. So we're gonna come into your high lunge. Again, this will all depend uh, if you have girdle pain. So you might find um, if you've got any hip pain, either you just narrow your stance and don't come down just as low. So you can have a cushion or a block just to give you a little marker as well. So your right foot is, your right toes are going to be pointing towards the short edge of the mat. We're still on the back left toes. So this is our high lunge with an inhale. We're gonna roll the shoulders back and down as we draw these arms up in line with our ears. We're gonna make sure we have a nice wide gap between our hands, so making sure we're not overarching our lower back either, so we're not causing any strain. Um, we want that very neutral pelvis. With the next exhale, we're gonna take a bend into your right knee. We're gonna hug this right hip back, so hips are square towards the short edge of the mat. Our right knee is stacked over our right ankle and we can see our big right toe in the inside of our right knee. So from here, oh, I'm just gonna send my blog back. And um, so from here, if you want a little marker, like a block or a cushion, we're gonna send it underneath where our left knee would touch the mat. Okay, so again, early in pregnancy, you might find it's okay to come right down onto the mat. A little bit later on, you might want um, to raise the mat to meet you. So we're gonna take a nice deep inhale here. You should feel this stretch coming in to your left hip flexor. Um, we're gonna take a nice deep inhale in here. Exhale, we're gonna dip this left knee down to the block. Inhale, we're gonna rise back up. Exhale down, inhale up. Exhale down, inhale up. Exhale down, inhale up, exhale down, inhale up, two more, exhale down, inhale up, last one, exhale down, inhale up, and with the next exhale, we're going to windmill the arms down, planting them either side of the right foot, just dropping her block off to the side as you drop, drop her left knee to the mat on her the toes. And we're going to come in to a low lunge. So I'm just going to take off my cardigan because it's now roasting. So her right toes are still pointing towards the short edge of the mat. Her knee is stacked, still stacked up over her ankle. We can still see the right toe on the inside of her knee. We're pressing into the top of the left foot. And again, we're not sinking too deep um, into your low lunge. Um, Again, we've got loads of relaxing in the body. We don't want to kind of overstretch anything either. So pressing into the top of the left foot, you should feel a stretch coming into your um, hip flexor. So we still want that nice neutral pelvis. As we inhale, we're gonna draw our hands up overhead. So you're gonna feel that nice straight spine, but you're still getting that lovely stretch into the front of this left hip. So again, we're just bringing the awareness back to the breath, the inhale, exhale, inhale, 
exhale, inhale, and this time with your next exhale, we're going to draw our hands down either side of the right foot. We're going to tuck these left toes under, and we're going to send this right foot back to meet the left. So you're going to come into your plank position. So you're going to, your wrists are going to be underneath your shoulders, shoulder width apart. Your knees can be up off the mat if that feels comfortable, or you can bring your knees down onto the mat. And again, we don't want to overload our abdominal muscles either. So from here, we'll come into a chaturanga press up. So we're going to hug these elbows in as we exhale, we'll lower down, coming down no lower than our elbows. With our inhale, we'll press through the palms as we send ourselves back up, lifting our hips up and high. We're going to meet back in our down dog. So again, Resetting your feet to whatever position feels comfortable for you. It might be a little bit wider if your bump's a little bit lower. You can wiggle your hips side to side, pedal out the dog. If that feels most comfortable, just add an extra stretch. From here, place the weight into the right leg as we send this left leg up behind with a bent knee. You can keep the knee bent or you can reach out long through the left toes. And with our exhale, we're going to draw this left knee up in between our hands. So again, all depending on bump size, we're going to come to rise into our high lunge. So left toes pointing towards the short edge of the mat. We're up on the right toes um, of your back foot. We're keeping our hips square towards the short edge of the mat. So as we inhale, we'll draw our hands up overhead. Again, we're keeping this pelvis in neutral and with your exhale, we'll drop back into your high lunge. Again, if you need a little marker for your knee, you can place that in underneath where your right knee will touch ground. Take a few deep breaths here, feeling the stretch in the right hip. We're pressing down the sole through all four corners um, of the sole of the left foot and then through the toes of the right. Taking a nice deep inhale here. Exhale, dip, left knee, right knee comes down. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, three more, exhale down, inhale up, exhale down, inhale up, exhale down, inhale up, last one, exhale down, inhale up. And with our next exhale, we're going to plant the palms, drop our left knee down onto, the, or sorry, I beg your pardon, your right knee onto the mat, uncurl your right toes and we'll come into your low lunge. Again, we're keeping our hips square towards the short edge of the mat, our knee stacked up over our ankle. We can still see this left big toe on the inside of our knee. Our pelvis is in neutral. We're hugging this left hip um, back so that we've got nice um, alignment with the short edge of the mat. And as we inhale, we'll draw our hands up overhead. And again, we don't want to sink too far down. We want to keep that nice neutral pelvis. Inhale, exhale. Last deep breath here. Inhale and with your exhale. legs, the stretch in her spine, we're pressing out through the base of her fingers, 